Hello. Today we will be attempting to try High Brew Coffee's self-heating can of coffee. You see, this coffee right here, it's powered by HeatJet, which as far as I can tell is just a company run by white guys. So the way that this works is there is your typical aluminum can of cold brew. Uh, and on the top is a little bit of a plastic guard with a hole for drinking and a larger hole for opening the can. And at the bottom is this very interesting twisty bit. Uh, and so what you do when you're ready to heat your coffee is you twist this. It purportedly takes two minutes for this coffee to heat. The purpose of this video is to identify four things. Number one, is it good? As in, does it taste good? Would I drink it again? Number two, does it get hot? Does it actually get drinkably hot? Like a fresh pot of coffee hot? Or does it just get like warm? We'll find out. Number three, who is this for? What kind of customer do I anticipate will buy this can of coffee? And number four, should this actually exist? Do I expect heat gen to be in more products now into the future? Do I expect this to be on the shelves a year from now? And does this product actually serve a purpose? Uh, so now I guess we'll, um, we'll, we'll do the thing. All right, the safety seal's coming off. I think we're screwed. I'm just taking the whole thing off. That's it. And a few minutes on. It's like hot, hot. <laughs> oh my god. It says to give it three light shakes. substantially hot. It's like hot enough where I can only take like slight sips. It's hot. But is it good? I really wanted to not like this. I wanted to find any reason to dislike this because of just the like sheer ridiculousness of it. I mean obviously like it's it's neat. Um, there's something like cool and fun about this. Ultimately, it's a novelty. I don't anticipate this being sold for, for years to come, but I think as like a one-off, it's a lot of fun. There's nothing wrong with a product like that. I mean, obviously this is marketed for people going on camping trips. This isn't new technology. Like self-heating products are not revelatory. There are hand and foot warmers. There are medical products that have self-heating elements. In this form factor, this is relatively new. This, this might allow a moment of joy. Unfortunately, it does taste good, and it does get really hot. I, it does. Um, um, yeah, it's really hot, and it's not that bad. I like nice, exciting specialty coffees, but I'm not gonna turn my nose up at this. It's honestly not that bad. Like, I like it. And like, if it's, if it's cold outside, 
Okay, your hands get all warm. What we, what are we calling this? What is this? The dial. The dial. I forgot my pretty light. Oh my god. Now we're really setting the mood. Hey guys, future me here. Uh, I did some more research and investigation after trying the coffee and I just wanted to brief you on a few things. First, I cut the can open. Um, and inside you can see the heater, which is that kind of like column thing rising from the bottom of the can. Inside that, there is most likely some sort of like mixture uh, or chemical substance sealed inside. On the heat gen side, it's listed as being fully recyclable. While this may theoretically be true, I am not exactly sure how a recycling center would go about like breaking that open and removing the contents. So I could foresee this ending up in a landfill instead. Additionally, the weight of the heater is advertised as being three ounces, but after taking some measurements on a scale, it is, comes more around 4.62 ounces. Uh, and then after all that, I tried heating the coffee after leaving it in the fridge overnight. And while it didn't get hot, it did get pretty warm. Uh, and it was still pretty good. So if you're in cold weather conditions, you may want to keep it inside uh, your coat pocket and uh, let your body heat kind of warm it up for maybe half an hour or so. If you're planning on drinking it right away, that you know obviously isn't ideal, but that's what you gotta do. All right, back to past me, see you later. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to hit the subscribe button, uh, go ahead, that one's up to you. And then, yeah, tune in for my next video where I will be... Where I'll be making a new leather band for a Chemex collar. So, see you later. Bye!